Hi, this is Teo from Packerblocks.com. Today I want to show you this new product from Wacom. This is called the Bamboo Spark that they released in September 2015. This is a device designed specially for note taking, but I bought this for drawing purposes as well. What this device does is after you have written or drawn something on paper, with the press of a button, you can digitize what you have uh, written and it will be converted into a file that you can work on later with your computer. This review is going to be quite long. Um, I'm just going to give you the bottom line first. Uh, this works better than I expected. And to see how well it works, you have to follow through this review. I'll give you the unboxing. I'll give you a demonstration. I'll compare uh, the paper version versus what is being captured on screen. And let's start. This is quite a big box. Interestingly, Wacom did not say how exactly this device works uh, on their marketing text on this box. But when you turn the box around, you get to touch uh, the material that's used to create the cover that's inside. So let's just unbox this. Um, very well, um, simple packaging. So this is the actual cover itself. Oops. Let me put this away. So you have the cover, which is this, and then you have some, I think, the box of manuals and stuff like that. Okay, the USB cable. Then we have. Um, two replacement ballpoint refills. This is the nip remover here. The USB cable is for charging the bamboo spark, this particular uh, holder. Okay, so this device is actually made of two main parts. We have the holder and we have the pen. This is actually a ballpoint pen. Let's take a closer look at the ballpoint pen first. It's very, uh, looks very classy for a ballpoint pen. You, uh, the cap is a click on type of cap, so it posts very nicely at the back. This is um, just a normal ballpoint pen and actually there's nothing much to it. The surface finishing is very smooth. It, very, it holds uh, quite comfortably and writes uh, pretty well for a ballpoint pen. The ballpoint is nothing special, but the refill that comes with it is a non-standard size. So this is your typical ballpoint refill, and this is the Wacom Bamboo Spark refill. You can see that it's half the length of the normal ballpoint refill. It's only 7 cm. So if you are going to do a lot, a lot of note taking or drawing, this is going to get used up quite fast and you have to buy it through Wacom. So after you finish using the ink, you can just pull out the nib here using the nib remover and replace it with a new cartridge. This is the main device. I call this a holder. You can buy this actually in three different variations. This is the pocket version with a small pocket on the side. You can use this to put your phone. The interior has some sort of um, velvet non-slip texture so even if you put a phone it's not going to slip out like that. But if you put small objects then be careful of that. The other two versions would be one that is called the cover. Cover is one that has special hooks to hook your iPad. So you can see that this cover uh, is actually about the same size as an iPad, just slightly bigger. So the cover version will hold the iPad. And then the third model is the one that's called the sleeve. Sleeve has um, a lot of flaps. You can use, also use that to hold your iPad as well, but the iPad will be covered. So for this pocket version, I, I don't know why there's this magnetic uh, thing here. Maybe to put your... Uh, ballpoint refill but I'm afraid that it might slip out so I'll just put that in my pencil case 
Then you have this little hole here where you can use it to hook your pen. This is the main button for recording your sketches or drawings. And we have a 30 page notepad that is included. The exterior um, has two materials, very tightly woven cloth I think. It overall it looks very well built, it's very durable and it looks pretty smart. Oh and then this, this rubble band here that will hook up onto these two hooks here to close your cover nicely. Before you start using, you should download the app that works with the device. The app is, has the same name as well, it's called Bamboo Spark. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to set up my device right now. You need a Wacom Cloud account in order to sync your documents. I already have that, so I'm just going to um, show you how to set up this guy. Before you set it up, uh, you need to switch on the power button which is just here just push it to the right side and press the button here which will give you the green light just follow the instructions and it's pretty straightforward hold it for 5 seconds your iPad or Android will detect it so now it's just called Bamboo Spark tap once to confirm and give you a unique name and you can also set orientation I use it in the portrait mode and done let's go so that's all for pairing up with the app you can use this app on the iOS version 8 as well as Android version 4.3 or newer versions after you finish your setup you can go ahead and Turn off your iPad or Android phone. It does not need to be on when you're drawing or writing. The most important thing to take note here is the green indicator light. Green means it's good to go. You can start writing or drawing. And the other most important thing is the button. Each time you press the button, it will save the page. And you can save up to 100 pages into the internal memory of Bamboo Spark. But if you have the software on, every time you press this button, it will transfer the page onto your software. Actually, I've already drawn a few pages, but I'm just going to give you a demonstration of how it actually works. The Notepad Wacom included has perforated pages. Oh, one thing is uh, to note is this Notepad is A5 size. You can buy any standard notepad outside, just make sure that it can fit into this uh, slot here. And there are going to be two vertical, I mean horizontal lines here. So make sure that you put your notepad within the horizontal lines. That's because there's some sort of uh, active um, area or so-called captured area beneath uh, beneath the surface okay let's start drawing let me draw start by drawing a frame first the moment you touch the nib on the surface it, the light will turn from green to blue so I'm just going to do a drawing for a car So that's the drawing of my car. I've already finished drawing that. So let me just switch on the Bamboo app right now. I mean the Bamboo Spark app. So let me press the button and see what happens.
the, there will be a downloading uh, dialog box here. It does not appear instantly, so sometimes I'm wondering whether or not it works, but after a few seconds it will come out and it will transfer the drawing onto the app. So there it is being captured digitally. Let's compare this version with my version. Um, I don't know if there's any way to enlarge this. Okay. There doesn't seem to be any way to show this in full screen, but let me just show you um, what I was drawing just now. This is a Jeep. I would say this is a pretty accurate capture of my drawing. For this drawing specifically, I drew in the frame so that I want you to see how that capture area. I also make sure to connect all the lines uh, together to form a field shape so there are no uh, open lines and it captured all that very well. So at the below here, I show you uh, written some text. So that was captured very well as well. There are some bits which are a bit off, for example, this corner box here, you can see that it's it is a bit open here. The reason is because when I was drawing, the page probably moved. So uh, that's resulted in this uh, open area here. Why that is important is uh, to note is because Bamboo Spark captures your stroke. It doesn't actually capture the drawing on the paper. So as you are drawing, it will capture every stroke, but it's not capturing your drawing. There's a big difference because say, for example, you are drawing the letter A here. Okay, so let me draw another letter. You can see that I pushed the paper up, so I draw a letter B here. So what the spark is doing is it will capture the A that I drew here and it will capture the B that I drew here. It's not going to capture what you see on the paper. So now the light is blue, I'll press the button for it to capture onto the screen. So this is the result. So it actually captures the stroke where I drew it and not the actual image on the paper. So take note of that. So when you're drawing and the paper moves a bit, your drawing, uh, the way that it captures is going to be a bit off. But generally speaking, that is not going to be a problem. So let me go back to the app again. Let me just show you some of the app features. Um, it's There's not a lot of features on this particular app you can draw. So you only have the pen and the eraser too. I'm not going to draw on this, but it's very minimal this. You can split the image. Split the image is quite interesting because it actually records a time base. Uh, the Spark, Bamboo Spark actually has a time base recording of your drawing. So as you scrub the timeline, you can see a replay of all your strokes. So at which point you want to stop it, you can split the page and it will create two images. So it will create one of this. Let me try it. So it will create this image and the other half of the image that is not captured. And let's say you want to combine the pages together, you can do that as well. Let me Let's press select, select this one and this one and combine. So this is your combined image again. It's a very uh, interesting feature, very nice, I like it a lot, but unfortunately you are not, you cannot export this out as a video. I thought it would be very cool if you can do so, but you cannot do that. So after you have finished all your drawings, you can select multiple images and send it as a multi-page PDF. So you can send it through email or anything. Export as an image. The image is a JPEG file. Then we have PDF and we have this WILL, which is Wacom's own file format.
Let me see what we have here. The device is actually not very, how should I say? It's very simple, there are not a lot of features. Oh, it shows you the battery level as well. This guy here is powered by battery, so you need a USB charger to charge it when it's um, when the battery is running low. Oops. There's this background sync here, so you want to turn that on for the for whenever you press the button, it will sync with the tablet. This button here is for you to enter your Wacom account. I've signed into my account already. So these are all the pages that I've synced onto the Wacom Cloud. You can use this with Evernote and Dropbox as well, but I've not tested them. But this is my Wacom Cloud account. So let me show you the pages. You can compare the differences. By the way, I've also scanned all these pages and provided all these files on my text review that is on my website. So if you want to get a clearer view, you can do so in the you can do so by clicking the link in the video description. You can see this is a pretty accurate um, capture. Let me go to the next page. Even though it's made specifically, I would say for note taking. It does handle drawing very well, but you have to draw with a ballpoint pen. This is a picture of my room. You can orient it the capture as well. Here I'm testing the accuracy of the bamboo spark and pen. What I'm trying to capture here is basically whether or not the device is able to capture all these joint lines and for this case you can see that it handles very nicely for cross hatching it's not very good because um, you actually need to press uh, using your normal handwriting pressure but when the tip is just uh, let's say glancing on the surface of the, of the paper it's not going to capture that well and for cross hatching purposes sometimes when you hatch too fast it can be quite light the pressure can be quite light and it's not able to capture that very well and you can see that in this example here okay this is the PDF file that I created using the bamboo spark app this is actually a vector file so you can see you can zoom in to uh, whatever resolution and that you want and the lines will appear sharp There are some little blobs here, but it's not really a problem. Battery life for this, I think you should be able to handle more than 100 pages on a single charge. The best way to conserve energy is to switch it off every time you finish using it. Or you can charge it with the USB port if, it, if the battery runs low as well. The USB port is right up here. It uses the standard USB cable that is commonly used by Samsung phones, Amazon Kindle and the Google Nexus. Another thing I want you to note is that this um, bamboo spark is best used on the table. It's quite unwieldy to hold it and use it uh, when you're writing. Let's say if you want to stand and write, it's quite difficult to do that. Especially so if you buy the one with the iPad, it's almost impossible to do that, uh, standing and writing. Overall, I think this is a pretty good product. It does what it is uh, advertised to do. You can capture written notes very accurately, rather accurately. And most important thing, you get to write with an actual pen. And so that's more natural and you can write much faster. This is designed for note taking, but for drawing, for artists, um, it's quite convenient as well. You can draw something and then you can send it to your file, your email, and then you can go back and work it out. So for example, this is the same drawing on the pad that I drew just now, except I went to color it using Photoshop. So it's pretty convenient. But who is it actually for? It is for those people who um, really need to digitize their notes instantly. So for example, if you are at a meeting, 
at the end of the meeting you have taken a few pages of notes you can easily convert them into PDF files and send them to your colleague before you even leave the room but if you have the time to do so after work then you can go back home for your, to scan them in your with an actual scanner then that will take a little bit more time but that's the convenience that is uh, that the bamboo spark gives you overall I think this is a pretty good product it performs much better than I expected I would give this maybe a 4 to 4.5 star the only minor complaint I have is for the ink refill which is not standard size that's all if you have any questions uh, just feel free to ask me in the comment section below I am glad to answer all your questions and also check out more links to the text review because I'll be posting updates to this review as and when I figure out some other things with this bamboo spark. Remember to subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting more art product reviews, sketching videos and sketchbook features in the future. Thanks and have a nice day.